Okay, welcome to the wildland plant identification class. Uh, again, I'm Karen Launchbaugh. Hopefully, uh, I will help you direct through this class. It's difficult to take a plant identification online, but with uh, some help from Justin Trujillo, who is a plant expert and range graduate student uh, and instructor, he's going to help me in this class, and hopefully we can give you as good a chance as possible of understanding wildland plants and learning some of the main ones in our region. Okay, first of all, most of the information of the class is not in BB Learn. Most of the kind of heart of the class of how you learn plants is on a web, uh, is on a WordPress site called rangelandplants.wordpress.com. So take a look at that website, and uh, I'm going to show you a few of the elements of it. The main thing we're going to talk about today is notes and flashcards. That's where I'll present the lectures for the class. There's also a list of plants and examples where you'll get to get pictures and there are pictures that you can zoom into and really start to look at the characteristics of the plant. So let's take a look at that notes and uh, flashcards section. Uh, first of all, flashcards, we use a program called Quizlet. It's a free program you can go ahead and log into. Uh, there's a link right there at the top of the notes and flashcards page. And the, it's a way to, it's a, it's a flashcard system. It, it allows you to to practice the names and terminology. Uh, as, as far as the notes, here's how the lectures will work. Um, the sections of the class are in that web page, and uh, it, you'll see that each of them has a presentation. The presentation is this as a narrated PowerPoint, just like this, where I'll walk you through the terms of the, of the plants. And the, the one that's up right now is plant types and categories. Before you watch, the online lecture, go ahead and download the note guide. The note guide is, is something to help you just go through the lecture. It's, it's often printing some of the um, examples or some of the figures, and then you kind of fill in the blank as you go. So it kind of, it's a way to keep you engaged. I'm gonna to try to keep those presentations 15 or 20 minutes. So um, hopefully you'll be able to follow those and print those note guides before you look at them. The course details, like when, what is due and what section of the class we're in, that is on the BB Learn site. Uh, so you'll find the schedule for the class, you'll find the assignments, you'll be able to track your grades in the class, and the tests for the course will happen on the BB Learn site. Now, this is kind of new for me. I haven't given a lot of tests right online, but I think we'll figure it out as we go. But do log into your BB Learn account, which is with your Vandal uh, account. And, and then that should give you more details. Here's kind of how the class lays out. Uh, we're going to start this week with introduction, overview, plant types, some growth habit material. Next week, we're going to start looking at plant families and classification. We'll also dig into grass and grass-like plants and stems and roots and leaves. This is all right out of the syllabus, which you can get online through the BB Learn site or through the email that directed you to this um, presentation. After we get through the details, uh, along the way we are going to do a dichotomous key assignment because you can't really uh, say you know much about plants unless you know how to use a dichotomous key because that's the best way to get right down to the species. So we'll have an assignment to make sure you have the basics of dichotomous keys. And then we're going to go look, look at plants by kind of category or region. We'll start with invasives, we'll go to riparian plants, and then by region, we'll study plants of the Great Plains, Southwest Rangelands, Great Basin, Pacific region, and intermountain areas. In each of those sections, uh, we will outline some of the really important kind of key iconic plants of that region. And you'll learn about 10 plants every time. So you'll, there are 70 plants in the class. And uh, you can see that the, the final end of the class is a comprehensive final exam, which is the week of May 5th. All of the assignments and tests are due on Friday, sometime after 5 a.m. Uh, up to midnight on Pacific time. So you'll have time on Fridays to go ahead and do those tests or hand in the assignments. The points, where the points come from, well, after we get through this first section of the class, there'll be 100 points of test material related to plant terminology. The dichotomous key assignment I mentioned is worth 50. Also gonna do a plant pet plant project. So pick out a plant that's really interesting to you. And I, I want you to learn more about the kind of what's interesting about the plant. Where did it come from? Does it have any medicinal values? How, if you were gonna to try to 
interest people in this plant? How would you introduce it to folks? So give you a chance to explore a plant and also apply the terms that we've learned in the class to that plant. Then as we go through these regions, through invasives, riparian, and regions, uh, we will take tests nearly every week and they will be plant identification. So you will see the plant, you have to identify it by genus and species and family and every week you'll get a few more points and that will tally up to 200. The very last test is comprehensive and it will be over all the plants and all the terms that we've learned in the class. It's worth 100 points. It's the last week of class. Total points in the class, 500. I will use the normal grading distribution 90, 80, 70, 60 for A, B, C, D. Less than 60 to fail the class. Let's hope that doesn't happen. And that's how things are laid out in the class. Uh, the other way that I'll help you through the class is at the beginning of every week I will send you an email through BB Learn so you know what's up that week in the class and just direct you to any resources that uh, might help you. So that's it for wildland plant identification. Uh, it's again it's difficult to learn plants online but we're going to give it a good shot and if you that'll give you a chance to get out on the range and learn some plants.